So, you know how I started this one series called Creating a Basketball Simulation iOS app, where we were literally going to make the best mobile app for basketball? Well, it, not really the best. And we recorded hours of footage of code that was edited into progress vlogs, and we wrote three articles on Medium about creating basketball players and teams, and these articles had collectively more than 3,000 readers? Doesn't it sound like the game's gonna be amazing? Yeah, um, nah. After doing some thinking, I've decided to completely trash this game, throw the whole entire thing in the trash. This basketball game is fin. The basketball simulation app that I was building is a thing of the past, but that's because in the present, we're gonna build something even better. That's right, we're gonna build a basketball RPG. And if you haven't watched the previous videos in the series, go go do that now. But previously, we were building an application in Swift, the programming language for iOS. This app was supposed to simulate a real life basketball league with players of different skills, playing on teams that were all part of this league where they all play against each other. So basically the NBA on your iPhone. It was labeled a simulation because I intended to replicate all the things in a real NBA like scheduling games, building a roster, managing player contracts, and all kinds of stuff. Everything was going okay until I realized this isn't what I want. What I want is a unique experience that you can't get anywhere else, but a simulation basketball app already exists and it's called NBA 2K. This app isn't gonna be much different than NBA 2K's My League mode, a mode that I've played myself for many years. In it, you can schedule games, build a roster, manage player contract, wait, yeah, exactly what I was trying to build. Also, with this game, I'd be restricting my target audience to other basketball nerds like myself and turning my back on all my casual homies who don't have time to adjust all the player tendencies and correct player heights. Kevin Durant is seven feet, you know. Basketball simulation isn't new, but a basketball RPG? Who else is doing that? By focusing on the single player experience and the character customization that makes role playing games so fun, and trimming down all that unnecessary clutter of managing an entire basketball league, I think this game could be really special. I've been playing Final Fantasy IX a lot lately, and I love the idea of incorporating things like special abilities, an inventory, and a level system. The category of the game isn't the only thing that's changed. I've decided to move on from the Xcode iOS platform and use Unity instead. Why I do that? I could bore you with all the details in another video, but here's a simplified version. Unity is a cross-platform engine, which means that I could use the same code to build a game for iOS, Android, and Windows platforms simultaneously. But if I was using Xcode, I'd have to write one code base in Swift for iOS, and then a whole other mountain of code in Java for Android, while also making sure the app is gonna look and feel the same on both. Reason two, Unity is a top game engine for a reason. The website has a bunch of guides, resources, and in-depth tutorials to help you fully understand how to build a game of any kind. Xcode has a bunch of tools as well, but it's a general purpose environment at the end of the day. Unity is made for games specifically, and it shows. And lastly, I want a new challenge, and I could use a break from Xcode. I've been using it exclusively for about four years, and I've never coded in C-sharp before, so learning a new language is a nice bonus. So if you've made it to this point in the video and you haven't clicked the like button, Thanks for watching still, honestly. But hey, if you like this type of content, leaving a like on this video helps my channel out a ton. Also, subscribe if you're new. So now, I'm gonna show you the progress that I've made so far. The graphics aren't anything crazy, but hey, it's a demo. When the game starts, you can select new game and then choose your backstory. I'll be explaining this mechanic later, but it'll decide what kind of story your player will have, their starting stats, and their level progression rate them heavy RPG vibes in full effect. After you choose your backstory, you can then choose your player's position and then assign some initial attribute points to your player's stats. For the sake of keeping it simple, we're only choosing between guards and forward positions for now. These attributes relate to common basketball player skills like shooting, passing, and defense. Once you press save, you're sent to what's going to be your player hub, where you'll be able to upgrade your stats, advance to the next game, 
or go back to the main menu. These are humble beginnings, but the potential is fire. So future videos are gonna primarily focus on the new features that I add that are ready to be demoed. And I'll be focusing less on all that code that I'm writing, but I'll still be showing some code snippets at times because I still want you to take something away from each video and learn along with me. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions or you wanna see more code in general. Here's a quick look at the current code base and you can see we already have a bunch of scripts created. I'm trying my best to keep everything organized because I'm usually sloppy as f with organizing personal projects. Code scripts are grouped by central features to the game. So the player scripts folder holds all the base classes for a player, handling all the different choices of backstory and player position. This folder also has a script for creating a new player, a complicated feature that took me days to finish. When creating a new player, the user should be able to click buttons to change their position and also to add or subtract attribute points from each stat. This is handled by hundreds of painfully written lines of code to handle the user interface and the code logic without completely crashing the game or accidentally making you Michael Jordan at level one. Looking at the set inside scoring function, for example, we check to see if the player has first chosen a position, which is named the player class here. Then, if we have enough points to spend, we'll add those points to the stat, reduce the number of points available, and then update our user interface to reflect all this new information. Piece of cake, right? That's just one feature, but there's plenty more. The next video, we're gonna tackle the challenge of simulating an actual basketball game. Regardless of whether we're building a simulation game or a role-playing game, the core of basketball RPG will be basketball. We'll design the concept of a basketball game, and then we'll figure out the best way to incorporate our own player into the game. So if you have any suggestions, comments, criticisms, questions, all of that, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and peace.